We're gonna take you along for a ride in our motorhome. We are headed to Laughlin, Nevada today. We got Caesar, Matthew, and myself. Don't forget Binksy, she's terrified right now, but she is here as well. Start the generator, start that AC. Keep you guys cozy in here. When I turn, it sometimes wants to tip back and forth. Have you noticed that? Yeah. And I notice if I'm going through a slow turn is when it really does that a lot. It wants to like wiggle and wobble back and forth. But I notice if I step on the gas real quick, it pulls the RV forward and stops it from rocking back and forth. So I'm gonna do a slow turn here and I'll show you. See, it's wanting to bounce a little bit and then you gas it. That wasn't a very bouncy turn, it was really smooth, but. Maybe we'll see another example in a bit. How did it get all foggy? Foggy. Sprinklers probably. Just uh, humid. The sun. We made it to our first stop here. Gas station. What's everybody doing? Cold. Cold? Okay, let's, we gotta turn this off for a bit and the gas up. How many, how many dollars do you think it's gonna take? A lot. How many? Okay, a lot. It's not really a number. How many uh, dollars do you think it's gonna take, Mac? Twenty-five. Twenty-five I wish. Probably gonna take somewhere between two and four hundred. There's Mama, my hybrid. Keeping it balanced, I guess. The fun meter is rolling. Come back in a minute, see how much the damage is. Hello. Drop your guess down below how much you think it's gonna cost. A strange woman entered the RV while we were outside, or while I was outside. It probably maxed out the, yeah, maxed it out at 150, 31 gallons. We'll probably have to run it one more time. All right. So 150 plus 96 takes us to $246.91. And that will take us at least too often, maybe more than that. I'm struggling with this cap here. Oh my goodness. There we go. This cord just gets all tangled in there. And you can't twist the threads. Alright. Should be good to go. Thank I you. never get a drive dip. Gas stations are always a bit sketch because it's just a very tight environment for maneuvering a giant vehicle. Look at that Jeep in front of us. Either look at how close we are. Yeah, we're super close to this Jeep. Now look at these people in front of us. Now we got these people to well, wiggle cool. around here. And we're getting it all figured out. Driving the school bus. All right, we'll catch you guys on the road. Now you can hear all the beautiful sounds of driving a motor home. Driving a motor home on the highway is definitely not for the faint of heart because you literally hear your entire house slowly deteriorating and breaking every time you take a trip. We're hearing like a loud pop noise from the back of the RV and we're not really sure what it is. Most times it's like something moving around in the cabinet when it's a, a noise that's repeated. Um, my first thought was, oh crap. Sounds like one of the snacks? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We'll go with that for now. The tires are still all rolling, so we're good right now. So our route for today is the 10 West, headed to 
the 215 north to the 15 north to the 40 east. So we're kind of going a little bit out of our way just to keep the route uh, easy and comfortable in the motorhome. Okay, we're getting onto our first freeway interchange here. 215 north now. Good old bumpy roads. We're gonna be on this for just about 15 miles. And then uh, we'll be on the 15 north here. We're now entering the 15 north. Wide open. The infamous Cajon Pass. Known usually for the traffic, the very steep grades and uh, inclines and declines um, and, and the slow trucks. Fortunately, we don't have anything in tow today, so the RV by itself will handle these grades like nothing. These were the slow trucks I was talking about. So if you've watched our channel for a while, you may have seen our video from several months ago where we were climbing up the Cajon Pass in our old F-150. And man, it was a struggle. Right here at this ex exact same spot, I have a short and a uh, long form video that I'll tag here. But there was like a truck broken down. Our truck was struggling. It was going wow, just barely making it up the hill, crawling up. And uh, now we're in our 26,000 pound motorhome and it's going up just fine. So that's a nice, uh, a nice change. We're a little bit deeper now into the high desert. We've got about two hour, about three hours left in our drive. Um, in the Victorville area right now, but we're gonna be on the 15 North for about 45 more minutes before we connect to the 40 East, where we're gonna spend majority of our time today. About 25 minutes away from the I-40. These are the roads I like, just wide open, smooth sailing. Caesar finally discovered what the noise was that we were hearing earlier. This uh, back window right here was actually open just a little bit and it was uh, like vibrating. Just a little bit of air was getting through so it was like making weird noises. We're about to get on the 40 now. Start wrapping up this drive here to Laughlin. Getting on needles. Needles 40. The rest stop coming up in about just under half an hour that we're gonna stop at and then uh, continue on our way. There's the sign for the rest area right there, 28 miles. Smooth roads and no traffic, my favorite. The wind has started picking up a little bit, like on this road, I, I was going a about 70, a little faster than I should, and I just started feeling some gusts start to wiggle and push the RV. So uh, backed off a little bit, slow down here. I'm gonna pull into our um, rest stop now. This is a rest stop, not an RV park. Stop for a rest.
not the greatest of rest stops, but I just missed a one open truck parking. So this is what we're stuck with. And the temperature here is 91. So temperatures are rising for sure. Oh, this, this flew open. This drawer. Where's my hat? Oh, here it is. That's 60 semis. Uh, no, we don't need anything. We're we'll solicitors. Carlo has to poop and I have to pee. Oh, Carlo has to poo. Oh, me first. Hi, okay. Caesar. Hi, Becker. Hi, Pinksy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, hey, Molly. How are you guys I doing? Pretty great. Smooth sailing so far. Yep. We're making it, dude. Another trip. Another RV trip. Here's our rest stop. Fortunately, we don't really need the facilities. We're just pulling off. I don't know if I even mentioned it, but Allie's been following behind us in the Highlander the whole time. She's been doing a great job. She like gets so close, I, I can't even really see her sometimes. Beautiful desert views out here. Look at the semis. Just ate a little snack. Everybody had to go to the restroom, so we got that done. Let's just do a quick walk around, make sure all the tires look good. Strap down still. Nice Lance camper. We passed him on the highway. We'll pass him again. All right. Just had to pass a uh, street sweeper. We barely missed it. Looks like we're getting out of it now. Though. Back there was the thick of it. Coming in um, in the last half an hour here of our trek. Uh, I 40 East, just kind of in the middle of the uh, wide open desert. I, I believe this is the Mojave National Preserve that we're driving through. Next exit is our exit. Still about 15 minutes away, but we're getting off the freeway here. Gotta head out that way. We made it to Needles, California. Now we're gonna cross the border into Nevada and possibly Arizona at times because they're all just right next to each other right here, depending on how the road takes us. Casino and Resort. Stay away. So we just got the uh, Welcome to Nevada notification, and I believe we are now about to pull into the KOA here. 
Yeah, the KOA backs up to the golf course from what I remember. I think I see some RVs over there. There's the casino and the hotel. There's the KOA. Not bad. Yeah, it looks, at least it looks nice. We'll see where we get to park. At least it looks nice. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks relatively clean and empty. The reviews online had me wondering what it was going to look like, and it looks a lot better in person than what the people online were making it seem like. So that's good. Yeah, you're allowed to drag your razors around here, I'm pretty sure. This place is chill, dude. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go get checked in, and then uh, we're gonna go pull into our site. We'll be right back. We got our site. We are site 939, and the lady was super nice. Let's go, buddy. Did she say, Bye. I want Bye. you Bye. on YouTube. Bye, see you guys in a minute. Daddy. The lady was super nice, did and. The, did the lady say, do, do, did the lady say, I watch you on YouTube? No, she didn't. She was super nice though because we requested to be farther out because the boys are loud and they put us all by ourselves. So that's pretty cool, I think. So we're gonna be on the left. No, maybe not. Maybe. Just... Where is it? Right here. Where? Right next to the sponsor. Oh, I see. That's a big spot. They gave us a build spot. Okay, we're gonna park right there. I get a single front now, Dad. It is super hot and uh, we're gonna get all set up, situated and and get moved in here. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Smash that like button, consider subscribing because our next video is gonna pick up right where this one left off right here to uh, start our adventures. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.